Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Canadian Mint have taken innovation to the next level with this intricate double-sided tribute to peace. Hope, peace, stability, these global aspirations have sparked innovation once more. And the result is this extraordinary tribute to those dedicated to making the world a more peaceful place. The coin itself is 49 fine pure silver with antique finish, but its inner core is replaced by a 3D allegorical figure of peace, intricately cast in 39 fine of pure silver and plated with your 24 karat gold for an uplifting gleam. No matter which side of the coin you view, Peace lies at the heart of this Canadian ode to those who promote peace in our world, which is protectively cradled by the winged figure that expresses hope for the future. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you guys to yet another fantastic edition of this pure silver coin. It is named the Allegory of Peace by the Royal Canadian Mint themselves. And yes, let us all dive on in and when we come back, shall analyze in details the features of this magnificent coin. Let us all dive on in. Greetings, 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 my people, and indeed a very warm, fantastic, majestic, and fantabulous welcome to each and every single one of you to yet again another of my coin showcasing videos. My name is Biwari Kikum Staka NZ, and you guys are highly, highly, highly welcome to this highly innovative edition by the Royal Canadian Mint, your allegory of peace coin. All right. This coin has been designed by artist Rebecca Yanovskaya. And yes, the coin design features a 3D winged allegory figure of peace securely positioned at the center of the coin, where it can be viewed from both sides, cast in 3 nines fine pure silver and plated with gold, the allegorical figure of peace is framed by olive branches as she stands atop the world with her wings slightly curved and yes over protectively curved as well yes as you guys can can see on here as i tilt it up and down you guys will notice that yes the that the wings are slightly curved over protectively and yes, um, she actually wears a crown of maples. Let me see if you guys can can see that. Let me let me zoom in. Yeah, she wears um, a crown of maple leaves, rather um, cradles a globe in her hand and an olive wreath in the other, as you guys can see now that I have zoomed in so it will be much more easier for you guys to visualize what I'm describing and yes um, as she strikes a pose that suggests a striving for peace and hopefulness for the future and yes the allegorical or let me say the allegory is flanked by an outer ring crafted in your four nines fine of silver and it is also antique finish and yes featuring a motif um, composed of doves carrying an arrangement of olives i believe yeah olives and i believe it's also maple leaf branches as well which is what i've noticed so olives and your maple leaves branches and yes the motif itself repeats on the obverse side of the coin and yes which features a rear view of the cast element while the effigy of her late majestic queen 
Elizabeth II, which was actually designed by Susanna Blunt. All right, appears just at the top. I'm trying to zoom in so that we can see the effigy. All right, and yes, we can also see that the obverse bears a special marking that includes the four pearls, as you guys can, can see here. And in most of my videos, I have described that the four pearls are actually symbolizing the four effigies that have actually graced the royal canadian coins over the years and yes the double date of the reign of her majesty from 1952 to 2022 is actually being shown there as well all righty all right what a magnificent coin this is actually quite um quite a design to be honest what what a design they have actually come up with but anyways 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 let me see what i can do in terms of specifications the mintage is 1250 i will be showing you guys the packaging and the coa just give me a, a moment i will grab it the diameter is i think the diameter should be at about let me see should be at about 65 millimeters in in diameter i believe and the edges are serrated face value is 50 50 canadian dollars finishes antiqued and yes the designer is rebecca yanovskaya that is her name so she has done the design for this part and um, susanna blunt is the one that has actually done the the obverse of her late majesty queen elizabeth the second and yes it is three nines fine silver for this particular um inner inner figure or the insert figure because it is cast anyways and um, the the outer purity of the coin is the usual four nines fine and yes i believe um most casting uh sterling silver which is 92.5 pure silver but this allegorical uh or let me say this allegory is actually cast this lady is an allegory so she's actually she has been casting three nines fine of pure silver instead of sterling which is good so yes um i believe they have also um carefully hand polished um this particular coin itself because yeah um, a careful hand polishing must have been used in order to achieve a high shine to bring out the details of of this craft craftsmanship and yes they have actually gone a bit more by you know giving us um the 24 karat gold gilding on the allegory itself for a luminous contrast and an uplifting gleam so it is it is a wonderful wonderful um design itself and yes let me let me put this down and grab the the coa for you guys so that you guys can actually see see the coin itself or let me say the packaging itself how how it comes and then we shall wrap it up that has been an incredible one to actually review but um, yeah there are so many things that i would like to to say but i wouldn't want to make this video too long so i believe i've actually touched on on the key principles that make up the coin itself i won't go into history but anyways it comes in this packaging from the royal canadian mint themselves and then you open it you get this guy out so this is the clamshell anyways and the coin is housed here coa is here so let me get the the coa out it is actually a big chunk of not not a big chunk but it is actually um a big one um for a royal canadian mint um coin it is actually quite so almost at about 110 millimeters by 70 so yeah it is a big one it is 
it is actually a big one itself but anyways apart from that when we open the coa this is what we see so you guys can always 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 pause pause the video and and have a read let me try to zoom in and see what we can find yeah it is it is blurring out sorry let me try to get it to focus come on why not focusing today anyways i don't know why it's not focusing but cannot really really bother myself too much you guys can always pause the video and have a read yeah apart from that that is the only thing that that you guys get i mean with the box coa packaging and yes before i actually i actually leave um I want to tell you guys that the coin design was actually inspired by the allegorical figure that stands atop the National War Memorial in Ottawa. And yes, completed in 1938 and unveiled in 1939. The memorial is the site of Canada's National Remembrance Day ceremony held each November 11. Yes, the, the cenotaph has come to symbolize the sacrifice of all Canadian armed forces personnel, whether they have served in their country in a time of war or in the course of peace. And yes, Canadian um, Lester B. Pearson, um, their prime minister from 1963 to 1968, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1957 for his diplomatic efforts during the Suez Crisis, 1956, when he proposed the creation of the first United Nations Peacekeeping Force, and in 1988, the Nobel Peace Prize was collectively awarded to the world's peacekeepers, including tens of thousands of Canadians who served in the UN Peacekeeping Mission. Alrighty, that is as far as I would love to go. But yeah, I would like to acknowledge a few people on here, but I won't be going into the details of, of their statements or comments. But yes, Rebecca, um, Rebecca Yanovskaya, who is the artist, well, well, well done. That is her initials here. R for Rebecca, Y for Yanovskaya. And also the product manager for this particular coin itself, Alicia Cook Sapin. Yes, um, tribute and recognition to her, as well as the last person who I want to acknowledge is actually um, the former product engineer, um, research and development of the Royal Canadian Mint, who is Kevin Wright who is actually a mechanical engineer and a professional or project engineer as well um, from the professional engineer anyways yeah from the um, Royal Canadian Mint and yes want to acknowledge all of them for what they've done in terms of this design their involvement and every single thing that they've done in getting this coin done dusted in terms of innovation and um, minting technology smart minting technology and technique alrighty at the end of the day all i can say is a very big thank you to each and every single one of you yet again once again for stopping by dropping by to view another of my coin showcasing videos and with that i'll see you guys in my next video thank you very much